dwelling in the pool of self-pity. Dad, I don't think it's possible to live without mom. Who would do the things she used to do for us? Who will help us get ready for school? Who will attend our PTA meetings? Who would teach me how to practice my choreography? I don't think it's possible to live without mom. I think it's possible. It's very possible. We'll find a way around it. Hmm? Let me get you something to drink. Thank you. work today? Work was fine and not too stressful at all, will I? I'm happy that my patients are all responding to their treatment and I had only one surgery, it was successful. Mm -hmm. mm. And those beautiful nurses at the hospital, how are they doing? Still beautiful and they are doing <laughs> great. Well, I miss that environment. I wish, sometimes I wish I'm still there. Who misses hospital? That's a place for sick people. And you were well, so you got discharged. Dr. Cassidy, thank you very much. You have such a good heart. May God bless you and all your efforts in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for helping around here. May you turn this house into a home. Thank you. You're welcome. Why not go freshing up while I set the table? Uh, what did you prepare for dinner? Uh, you will get to know. Go on freshen up and stop acting like a child.
very well. He's pretending to be strong. No, that is strong and I know it. Do not be deceived by the appearance he puts on in our presence. He cries behind closed doors. He misses more more than we do. You're right. I went to daddy's room and I saw his eyes were red. And I asked him, he said something entered them. We need to look out for one another so that we would miss mom. I think the best thing to do is to help dad in things mom is to do for us so that he won't go through much stress. You're right. So from now on you stop being naughty and stop crying and stop refusing your food. Not just Angel, but all of us. We need to work out so that dad won't worry. Good night, sis. Since you came to this house, I've enjoyed best of meals. Mm -hmm. As if I was still living with my mother, or rather, married. <laughs> um, I just love cooking generally, and it gladdens my heart to see someone who appreciates and enjoys my food the way you do. Oh, yeah? <laughs> mm -hmm. You, your presence in this house at color. Mm -hmm. Only someone with a colorful life can add color. Even the strongest of people sometimes doubt their strength, so I understand. What happens to you is not the end. Okay, I'd rather see it as life giving you a second chance. So you need to learn to live it to the fullest. Okay? Hmm? <laughs> Enjoy your meal. Mm -mm. I I don't know how to put it, Ty. There's this refreshing feeling I about Chloe. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Sometimes I feel we are even married. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, I just feel like I am a married man. Wow. She just came into your life and you already feel this way about her? It is not how long, my friend. It's how well. And without mincing words, I... I love Chloe. And, um... I just... I just think we... We're perfect for each other. And... What if she doesn't feel the same way? Well... You may never know unless you ask her. You know, sometimes just looking at her picture is so satisfying. I, <laughs> I don't know what she has done to me, but I like it. I don't want to recover from it. She, she has this gentle spirit, something you can't find. But he doesn't see me that way. He sees me as a friend and that's all. And you are the typical African woman who waits until the man says the word, right? Why not show him signs you have feelings for him? Did you say signs? Mm -hmm. I have showed him all the signs in the world that I can think of and nothing. His sense of affection is blind towards me. Well, life is like that. 
the people we love are you okay i'm fine <laughs> The people we love, love someone else and vice versa. But I pray that one day, he'll realize all your affections towards him and look your direction. It's just so painful to, to see someone you love being in love with someone else in your presence. So, I can assure you Cassidy does not love anyone. Just keep faith, he will come around. He will. Is that what you think? Mm -hmm. Is it? Ah, see, what you need to do is check that thing I'm cooking on the fire. We will eat and we'll be alright. My son, there is no doubt that the death of my daughter Ital is very hard on you and the kids. I won't lie, Mom. I won't lie. It's really difficult. I've been trying to make them move on, but... It's, I'm getting there, though. In a bit to that, I, I was thinking of having you take them away for a while, maybe change environment, and then they might acclimatize to... somewhere. I know it's not a bad idea bringing them over. But it's just going to be a temporary plan. What you need now is a more permanent plan. Could you please elaborate more? You need to remarry. What is it? So, I'm hearing you. Chroma said you're going to get another mom for us to help take care of us. Is it true, Dad? No, I didn't decide on that. It was just. Uh... But Grandma said you told her to start making arrangements. This is not fair, Dad. Mom's death is not even up to a year, and this. Grandma told you that. I didn't, I didn't say that all. Okay, okay, God, see, see, please, this is it. Grandma actually told me to get another wife, but I'm not, I didn't think about it. I, I never thought about that. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say I was going to remarry. Yes, when Grandma told me I was, yes, I was about driving out, and that was, that was all. I didn't say I was going to remarry, oh, please. Girls, please. I beg of you. I never said that. Is that why you guys call me and you're, you're all frowning up? I right, cheer up now. I said I didn't decide on that yet. I didn't think about it though. I didn't think about it. Honestly, I didn't think about it. Are you going to smile now? The home is empty without you. Our lives is incomplete without you. I get teary eyes when the kids ask, will she ever come back? It felt as hard. I get broken oftentimes and I fall down when I fall I pick something up each time I think about you it's hard to comprehend that you finally gone they say I should remarry but how can I allow another woman to take your place how can she fit into that chasm you left.
Life is unfair itself. And sometimes love hurts. It hurts me so deep to know that to know that to know that I won't see you no more. To know that I won't see you ever again. That thought alone breaks me. How can I move on? Pray for me. Pray for me at all. I know you're out there watching us. Somehow, it's hard to carry on. I love you, Ito, from the depths of my heart. Are you okay? Yes, why? Because you're acting like you just came out of a soap opera. Why did you say that? Okay. This is that part where you tell me you love me and you want to spend the rest of your life with me. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you are serious, aren't you? Yes, I am. But I was only joking. I am not joking, darling. I have fallen in love with you and I can't hold it anymore. But this is... No buts. Okay. I just want to know if you feel the same for me. Uh, this is rather too sudden. I didn't see it coming. I'm not prepared for this. But he's here now, and you have to decide. Okay. How about I, I take some time to think about it? Take all the time in the world. Just let your answer be yes. Kester, this meeting is coming at the wrong hour. We are supposed to have had this meeting long time ago. You know I am a very busy man. 
I'm having a surgery in the next two hours and you're just coming. Why this irresponsible act? Is it because you know me personally? I'm sorry, Dr. Cassidy. I'm not trying to abuse our friendship or anything. But right now you're staring at a broken man. Tragedy struck with heavy blows on me. I lost my wife. And uh, I've got three kids to take care of. Like I've got three kids to pacify. It came down on me so heavy that uh, I, I lost everything. I lost my mind. I lost my everything. So I'm really sorry. It's not that I'm trying to do anything, but I have to even pick up my pieces to be here at the moment. I, it's heavy. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. Uh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Was she sick? We lost her in a car accident. She was burnt. She was completely burnt. It was a wreck. That is a terrible way to die. Again, I say sorry. Thank you. So, um, I had to come because I heard about the report. The reports on the malaria drugs and its side effects. So, we were truly sorry. Yes. Um, but the combination of the malaria drugs was uh, quite terrible. It had so many side effects on the patients. They were reacting to se several illnesses, I, rashes, you name it. So we had to reject it. I will have to apologize again because uh, it was pirated. Yeah, the drug was pirated by some company outside the country. And uh, our lawyers are trying to go find them and then, you know, you know, take them to law, litigate them. I'm truly sorry about that. It's just that the pirated product came in two weeks before our lunch of the, you know, the said malaria tr uh, drugs. And uh, it was crazy on us. The company lost a lot. We lost a lot of reputations and all of that. But now we're winning them back because we are going back to our clients and our major clients, the great hospitals like yours and then all the big pharmacy, you know, pharmacies and all of that to tell them about, you know, what really happened. We have proofs. We have paperwork that could prove to that we've been doing this business together for a very long time we've never had this experience so i had to even come here myself to see you so i could talk to you directly because you are not just only my friend but an um, organization that is really key to us and you know prominent to us so we're really sorry about that um that that effect we're really sorry that it came down so heavy on on the patients this is something we will never tolerate or compromise it's okay. Uh, what you just do is um, tell your company to send it, send the product directly to our pharmacies. Let us run a test on it, and if it comes out fine, now which I hope, uh, I believe it will, we would start recommendation and probably some other distribution for other pharmacies here. You know what our recommendation means to your business. Thank you very much. I'm most obliged. In fact, you heard about the new products, yes. uh, our products. Yes. It's wonderful. Yes. Yes. Again, I'm sorry for your loss, uh, Mr. Kess. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Kess. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sweet. Can we get the juice? Yeah. You've been waiting for this for so long. But guess what? Your wait is over. I accept. You accept what? Your proposal. not like I, like I'm blaming you for accepting, but I can't help but wish 
I wish I am the one he loves. Oh, I'm truly sorry, Eunice. Your own man will come. There is a man for every woman. I'm sorry I accepted. I just realized I love him. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. You know, when I see something I like, I go for it without wasting time. So tell me, when are we taking the next step? Next step? Mm -hmm. Okay, I agree with you on next step. I mean, I will also want to be happy with you. You know why? No. Because I love you. Mm. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. Sorry. Don't you think this is rather too fast? Fast? Do you know how long it took me to tell you how I feel? Do you know how old I am? Uh huh. So now that I told you and you accept, I don't want to waste any more time. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm with you on this one. I mean, with you, it's fun all the way. <laughs> answers your question. Stop making that sound. <laughs> Toss a coin. Give me a coin. Let me one of them. Whoa, let's see. Head or tail? Tails. Heads, 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 heads. I know how to spin it. <laughs> ah, let me feed no, wait. It's me. Let me feed first. Garanga. Oh, yes. All right, Brenda, get the door. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You mean that I'm just gonna let you watch it? I'm sorry now. Just give me My love! You're welcome, Auntie Yoma. Thank you, darling. How are you? Hmm? Hello, everyone. Auntie Yoma. My love. Angel. Mmm, Bessie. Mmm, How are you? Hi. Hmm? Hello, Kester. 
How are you doing? You didn't call to say you were coming. Oh, Mama didn't tell you. Well, she sent me here to help with the house chores and take care of the kids. <sighs> so how are you? And how, how are things over here? Hmm. Tessie, darling, please show me to my room, okay? What did you say you want to watch again? Do you look worried. I hope there is no problem. Please sit down. Mama, you never told me that Oma was coming. You never did. My son, it is normal for me to bring Oma into the house to look after the kids. She is better off than a stranger. After all, she is the younger sister of your late wife. She's a far cry from the bigger picture. She's not befitting at all. Kesta. Your children need a mother figure in the house. For now, let Oma be that in their lives. Eh? I disagree, Ma. I totally disagree, Ma. Esther. Not Oma. With all due respect. Hello, my darlings. How are you? Hello, Auntie. Mm. Good day, Auntie. Angel, my love, I got this for you. All for you. But, Auntie, this is the second time today that she's having chocolate. Thank you, but no thanks. There's nothing hidden that's never been seen. Um, I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm sure you got my message. Stop the cleaning, I'll do it myself. That's boss on the rampage on the ocean. <laughs> come, come on here. See, you need to eat this. Take a, take a bite. Just take a bite. Take a okay, bite. hold on. Let me take a bite. Uh -huh. Simple thing. You were dead to your shirt. I don't worry. You will still wash it and then change it for me. Oh, oh. no. 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 Oh, you're hurting me. Am I? Oh, I'm so sorry. But you really oh, need to take a bite. You're not going anywhere. Not oh, going. I like this now. Uh -uh, is it my boss to eat? Yes. It's your boss. <laughs> okay, okay, I was looking at This is tiny. I don't know why. This is tiny. You need to take it. Uh-uh. Don't breathe any. Just take a bite. Don't breathe any. No way. Oh, okay. 
Take your time. I can't breathe. Have you seen? I can't breathe. Now take your bite. This is your oxygen. Okay. You just take your bite. Oh, okay, I'll wait for you. Oh. <laughs> They're choking me. Take your bite. Take okay. Your bite. Take, no, that's just tiny. I am just tired of everything. But it's not the end of the world for you. Like I said the other day, there is a man for every woman. Likewise, a woman for every man. That's why I need to go away from here. Babe, you have to take things easy. Running away is most times not the best thing to do. If going away from here will give me the peace of mind that I need, then so be it. Sweetheart, don't make a rash decision, please. You know what? Let me get your food from the microwave. Excuse me. Eunice left this for you. What is it? It's a letter and it's for you. So you're the only one to open it. Okay. Let me quickly finish what I'm doing in the kitchen. All right. Right back. All right. There's no place for you here. And no matter how hard you try to play the game, you can't win. Guess that I am not playing any game. I'm not. I'm only trying to fill in the gap. I'm trying to make you see that I was supposed to be your wife. Because you met me first. But then you chose my sister Ethel and here we are. Guess that I love you so much and you can't deny that. You can't. No matter how hard the moon tries to shine, it can never outshine the sun. Guess that? My sister is late. And there's nothing wrong in taking her place and helping out with the children. Guess that? Throw your pride away and accept this full package. Everything in front of you, accept it, please. Use your head, not your heart. I'm not going anywhere. I belong here. Why? I mean, why would she have to go leaving a letter instead of talking to me in person? She had a good job here. Why would she want to go and start a life afresh somewhere she else? She left because of you. Me? How? Why? What did I do to make her go away? Eunice has always loved you all her life. But you never looked her way. She was waiting for you patiently. Instead, you chose me. She couldn't bear seeing you and I together. So she left to start her life afresh.
Oma, why are you making it look obvious that you are desperate? Why are you acting without thinking? Why are you behaving like a fool? Eh? Mama. Mama, what do you want me to do now, eh? How do you expect me to react? When it's not even giving me any chance, it does not even it does not even see me as anything. Use your head. You don't have to force it. Gently. Eh? Look, let me tell you. If you want to catch a bird, if you go with force, it will fly away before you get there. But if you go gently, it will not know that you are coming towards it. My daughter, use your brain. Before you know it, their hearts will be inside your hand, just like this. stopped I can do better look I love you so much and the kids too and I promise I would do everything to make you happy just give me a chance please The world stands aside for a man who knows where he's going to. If you wait long enough, the good things of life could come to you. But in your case, these possibilities don't abound. You can't do better. I can see through you. You can't do better than they tell. Mom, mm -mm. oh, I'm sorry. You're not needed around here.
in the mood, you know if I am, I will just get it in one guess. Just give it a shot. Okay. Let me not stress your brain this morning. Close your eyes. Huh? Close your eyes and open your palm. I'm not joking. <laughs> They're both closed. Having a baby. Oh, oh <laughs> Dad, we are your children. We know we make you happy. But will getting married make you happier? Tell us, Dad. We'll support your decision. We're not selfish. I'm sure Mom will want you to be happier. So tell us, do you want to remarry? All right, darling. Um, they say memories live through time. And the memories I shared with your mother will linger in my heart forever because it's irreplaceable. They also say that time heals. When you grow up, when all of you grow up, you understand what I mean. But before that, uh, who would like to visit grandma in Pakistan next month? Really? Yeah, sure. Really? Yeah, yeah. Next month after school. All of you, all of you will go to Pakistan. Me. So what are we going to get in? Um, I will make a booking from um, Emirates. Fly Emirates. We're going to fly Emirates or BA. Who wants to go on BA? Who wants to go on BA? I like to go on uh, Emirates. Who likes to go on BA?
Okay, Sam. Can I help? Thank you. I don't need your help. Fine. Hey, hey. Stop that. Don't touch my throat. Kester, I don't mean any harm. I just want to help. I just want to be useful around the house. Oh my, I hate repeating myself, but you make me do so these days. I don't need your help. If I do, I'll let you know. How difficult is that? Fine. Fine, be mean to me. Yell at me. Do anything you want to do to me, but please, Kester. Please, don't you throw my love for you back to my face. Please. You are asking for an impossible thing. Excuse me, I just hate it when I'm being, you know, cramped in my kitchen. Can you just excuse me, please? Are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me, Ethel? Why are you fighting over a man with me in your death? Why? What will you gain from all this? Ethel, please. Please let me have Kesta. Please leave his head so he can erase memories of you, so he can have new memories. Please. You know I love him so much and I would do anything to make him happy. Besides, there is no one to take care of your children. If you let him give me a chance, that way I will take care of your children. I promise. Please let him go. Let me have him. Please leave him alone, Ethel. Leave him alone. Is that so much to ask? <sighs> All right. You just, uh, just tell him to hold on. Just tell him to hold on. Yes, um... Kesta, we, <clears throat> we ran some tests on the product. It came out perfectly. Well. Right. Yes. I think I've recommended it to some of our patients and they've been uh, quite a positive confession about the drug. Amazing. So, yes, yes, yes. So, what I'm thinking now is that I will speak to some of uh, my doctor friends uh -huh. so that they can start using it in their hospital like the normal routine uh -huh. but then i will give you the list of the people i will talk to so that you can still present the product to them as you would have if you were the company's rep is that okay amazing amazing so wonderful thank no, you very much because we no, trust no. your recommendation and uh, referrals it, it's okay and uh, it's been doing well to us you, you know and I, i'm really impressed with you know <laughs> how you really carry on the, with this uh, great gesture and all it's of that okay. we're most obliged remember the christmas present we actually got a <laughs> big <laughs> it, it, it's not a problem at all um why don't you tell them to supply the product here so that uh, the distribution can start here and now uh, uh, I mean, yeah, if yeah, it yeah, is yeah, fine, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very fine. Very okay. It's going to save us a lot of money, you know, on, you know, transportation and all of that. So we'll just do it all at once, right? We'll okay. just bring it all. Yes, that would be, that would be truly amazing. Thank you. Okay. So, so when, when, when are you leaving town? Um, I am, I'll be leaving tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. I need to see, uh, there's just two clients I need to see. And one of them is your friend, uh, Dr. Um, Ma Matthew. Matthew. Yes. <laughs> okay, we okay. spoke over the phone okay. and he asked after you. Uh, all right. So, why don't we have 
dinner my place. Alright, no, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Yes. Oh, yeah, 6 p.m. will be okay. 6 p.m. is a perfect time. Oh, amazing. <laughs> By then I'll be done with it. Alright, thank you so uh, much. Uh, yeah, <laughs> someone is actually waiting for you. Alright. Hello, honey. Hey, babe. How are you? <laughs> You're doing great, right? All right, darling, please, I need you to do me a favor, prepare something special for dinner. A friend is coming over. Who? Who is coming home for dinner? <laughs> Did you remember that my friend I told you runs a pharmaceutical company? Mr. Kester. Yes, he's in town and won't be leaving till tomorrow, so I invited him over. All right, thank you. Love you. Mwah! <laughs> So when you introduced me to, to them, Welcome I was... <laughs> to my humble abode. So you make yourself comfortable, I'll be with you in a short while. Darling! Chloe! Our guest is here. Look your tongue with the dinner. Miss Chloe, and um, she's uh, <clears throat> our blood pressure is normal now, but she's not up yet. And what I don't understand though is why would she pass out as soon as she saw you? She a ghost. You say what? She a spirit living in your house. She's not a ghost. She's alive. Kester, you're not making any sense. They told my wife was around. That's what I told my wife. That's what I told my wife. Um, Kester, if I, if I heard you correctly, your wife died. Okay, and this is Chloe, my wife. <laughs> you need to calm down, mate. Who that is? Can someone just run away? There's a hole in my heart. 
Sir, you're not making any sense. You need to calm down. Calm down, okay? Yes, sir. It's okay. 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 the girls, Brenda, Tessie and my little angel. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, um, I'm gonna take you someplace where you can get it fixed, or better still, I get you another one. Is that okay? Are you sure? Hundred percent, I'm sure. But you have to excuse me. Let me just get in there for one minute, pick up something, and I'll come to it. Yeah. Love is the greatest force in the universe. When you show love, you feel love. And when you feel love, you show it. I'm just expressing myself because that's exactly how I feel about you. So, you're saying you love me? Of course, if I don't, I wouldn't be troubling you. I wouldn't be calling you every day. I wouldn't be saying, when are we going to see? When are we going to see? I wouldn't just be bothered about well, it. I was thinking you're one of this men. Mm -hmm. I like to get the reward in kind. 
in exchange for being nice and helping out. Yeah, a lot of men would be that way, but I'm entirely different. Like, uh, I'd waited so long for this. I call you and I ask you, you begin to say, oh, just wait for me, give me a moment to think about it and all of that. I've waited so long. How long am I going to be waiting? Just say it. You know what? Your wait is over. Because this girl here loves you right now. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come here, that. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. What's so good about that? There you go. There you go. This calls for a celebration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow, this calls for a celebration. Yeah, so well. Finally, <laughs> I've gotten you. I just did it. <laughs> You're such a wonderful person. I knew I've made the right choice. Thank yeah, you. love for me wasn't something I really took serious at some point because I was, I've been hurt about it. I don't feel this way often. It is, from the day I saw you, I knew it was just you. I had experiences about um, relationship that uh, I don't want to talk about right now, they're in my past and all of that. But before we go further, why don't you have a drink and then we'll have a toast for this. Mm -hmm. So let's have a toast to what? Um, your language. From the very first day I saw you, I knew you're just that foundation that I need. I know you're the sweetest person ever, and you are, you are much part of me as my own beating heart. I love you so much from the depths of my heart. You're that woman I want to spend my eternity with. From the day I met you, I knew joy overflew in my heart like the Niagara Falls. I love you so much. I care so much about you. And I humbly would ask you this. Will you marry me? Yes. Yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> Smiling when no one is talking. When you're happy, you smile. When you think about nice things, you smile. And when you're in love with someone who makes you happy, you smile. So why are you saying you're in love? Yes, my little princess. I am in love. I love your father very much. He's the best man in the world. I mean, if all men were to be like him, the world would be a better place. We are lucky to have him as a man in our lives. You see why she smile? Smile with me. Smile with me. <laughs> what shall I do? What shall I say? So, so speechless. Where would I run? Where do I hide? My shadows are all around. Can I share my heart? How many pieces? Can I share my heart? Can we ask 
ask you something. Of course, anything, my darling. Auntie, we know you love our dad and we know you want to get married to him. We love you too, but there's something we want to ask you. Okay, ask me anything. Auntie, it's not like we don't like you. Oh, we don't want you to get married to our dad. The thing is, we don't want to see our dad with another woman. And even if he wants to get married again, we don't want the person to be you. Because it would be disrespectful to our mom's memory. Look, girls. It will be better if your dad gets married to me. Because I'm related to your mom. And that is why we don't want you to get married to him. Is that too much to ask? I know this is the wrong time. But is it possible I ask a question? What? The way forward. What is going to happen to us? What, what, what should I be expecting? Well... Like you rightly said... Now is not the right time. I need time to solve this math. There are much. Now are home waiting for their mother. I am the legitimate husband. The legitimate first husband. Don't you think I have much right? Of course you do. But that doesn't deny me my own right too. Because like you, I married her. And she's pregnant with my baby. me into bits and pieces but you know what I don't care because I'm not letting her go and I am not letting her go either look what happens is no one's fault and that's why I'm here for us to and listen you've been able to live without her for months now why don't you let things be that way I know I might be sounding selfish right now but I can't help it it's bad enough to know that you've been with her for months as well how difficult is that for you to process? Don't you think it's high time you give me back my wife? Don't you think it's high time you give my children back their mother? How very impervious are you? Let me tell you something. 
It's a little taking distance so far. Do you need me to find you over there? I can also say the same thing to you, Kester. Okay, this... Whatever happened is no one's fault. And that's why I'm here. For us to put heads together and resolve this matter. Suggestion that until Ethel is in this whole discussion, she's not a toy. Chloe. Ethel. Chloe. Ethel. Chloe. She's Ethel. Chloe. Okay, Chloe needs to be part of this discussion, but we need to be on the same page first so that we don't damage the woman we claim to love. <sighs> Patience and fortitude. Conquers all. We need to process this. You need to process it. I need to process it. Until then, I've got nothing to tell you. Think about it. This is not good at all. This is the most confused story I ever heard in my entire life. And honestly, babe, I don't know the right thing to tell you to do. I don't know what to do either. I love them both. And, and I'm not sure how I happen to love two men equally. Babes, you know you can't escape this one, right? I mean, this is something you must face, and fast. Meanwhile, how come you are alive and your family didn't know? How? What happened? How is that possible? All I recall is waking up at the hospital with no idea who I was. I stayed with Dr. Cassidy for months with no improvements. And after a while, with no one tracing me, I fell for him and started anew. Perhaps if I had waited a few more months, this wouldn't have been happening right now. This is no one's fault. This is destiny trying to play a fast one on you. Like I said, you need to think this through and decide. Both men are in love with you. Think well. And you know what? At this point, I don't envy you. <laughs> At all. I don't. Hey. Hey, you abandoned me. I am here now. Yeah. Being here, I'm, I'm sure you must have heard. Yes. But just like everyone, I am confused too. She must not leave me. I will die if she leave me. I, I can't live without her. I am sure she feels the same. Overall, this is no one's fault like I told her. You have to put yourself together. I am sure heaven has a plan. Let the best man win. Yeah. Hey.
sit down or should I get you something to eat or drink? No. A man who is going for a throat surgery does not bother about food. I'm listening. I don't blame you for what is going on. I know you need time to process all this. So do I. I understand about Cassidy. I understand how he feels. But it's been over one year you saw your kids. Don't you miss them? I do. I miss them. More than anything in this world, I wish to see them. But how do I face them? How will I explain everything that's been going on to them? God has given us smart kids. They are very smart. They will understand you, mother. They will understand their mother. They miss you so much. And seeing you will be the best thing ever that will happen to them. Just, just come and see them. Please, they want, they want to see you. to say to me. I never said I wanted to say anything to you. You are my wife. If really I'm your wife, then you should know I am worried about, about your kids. You know me that well, huh? You can go and see them. I don't have the right to stop you. It's not about rights anymore. Things are totally messed up right now. Just rest. You leave the day after tomorrow. I know I asked you to go and see your kids. I hope I'm not making a mistake. I hope you're not leaving me. Hey, don't say that. I... I still need time to know what to do. Nothing is clear to me right now. Seeing my kids after a year is not clear to me. Sweetheart, please, let's take things one step at a time. I know in the end heaven will smile at us and we will unravel this puzzle. Has anything changed? You ask him if I still love you? Yes. Yes. I do. I love you very much. Nothing has changed. Just 
So you'll be leaving tomorrow, right? Have one. So these marks. There's a hole in my heart I'm broken inside Could this be real? Would I be alright With this pain I'm so confused Has something to do with mom. Come on, Tessie. How? She's no more. How can she still bother dad? Um, maybe it's where he traveled to. Or maybe work problem. I hope it's something like that. Because I don't like what's happening. Let's just hope it's fine. We have lost mom. We don't want to sad dad. I hope too. Good night. Good night.
cutscene. Mm -hmm. Can we watch cutscene? Of course. Sit down, my darling. Hmm? What child do you want to watch? I'll put it. Um, let me get it though, okay? Uh. There's no need for the panic. There's no need. See, it's your mother downstairs. The woman downstairs is your mother. Please. But she's dead. We buried her. I thought so too. I thought so. But until I, until I met her. If she was alive all this while, why did she stay away from us? See, when your mother had the accident, she forgot everything. She forgot she had you all, she forgot she had me, she forgot she had grandma, she forgot she had your auntie. She forgot everything, it was me. Why now, Dad? I, because she's recovering, she, she's better now. And when I met her, boom, it, 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 she, she came back, she realized everything. Huh? And see, I, I'll, I will explain everything to you, but one thing you need to do is all of you are going to go downstairs and meet her because she needs to speak to you all. Dad, are you sure she's not a ghost? No! Mom is not a ghost! She's, 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 she's your mother! She's a human being! You can touch her and you can feel her! Yeah? One would think you're shedding those tears because you miss me. But you and I know you're crying because I returned home. <laughs> If you already know then, why flog at it? Huh? For a moment, I was happy you were out of the way. Yes. I'm not happy about what happened to you. Like, I don't want you dead, but... <laughs> at the point I thought... I thought fate was finally smiling at me. Fate. Smile. Stop destroying your life, Oma. How can you bank on my misfortune to be happy? Yes, you met him first. But he chose me, and this was a long time ago. Why are you still fighting a lost battle? You know what? You are the least of my problems right now.
kids believe their mother is back. But you and I know it's not Uhuru yet. I know. But I'm still in a state of limbo. Do you love him? Of course I do. The past one year, he's been everything to me. We mourned you. We didn't move on. What even happened? How did it happen? How was that possible? How did you survive? It's mysterious. The car was a total wreck. It was completely burnt and we buried your remains. What happened? Ravel, what happened? You are up. If you scream, I will shoot you. If you act funny, I will kill you. Yes. Who are you? Taking you, taking my girl. Why are you taking me to? What is it? That's it. daughter, the situation at hand is tense. I am confused. As a woman and a mother, I don't know how to get out of it. If I may ask you, who among the two of them do you really love? Both. I love them both, Mama. Oh, you cannot love them both. You are not a man. I'm aware of that. But right now, as it stands, I need time to think things through before I can decide. Well, 
at the end, the decision is yours to make and I pray that you choose wisely. As a mother and a woman, I pray that you choose the one that will make you happy at the end. My happiness has taken the back seat, Mama. You're not supposed to be sleeping out here. Is it possible I sleep in the guest room for tonight, please? Guest rooms are for guests. And my wife isn't one. I know. But please, can I have some privacy until all of this is over? I might remember I'm also your daughter. Remember. Since she married two husbands, you should be advising her to stay with the newest one. That way I will have guessed that to myself. But no! No, you are allowing her to make the decisions herself, Mama. <laughs> it's because the world does not revolve around you. She is your elder sister, for Christ's sake. She has a problem. Pre pretend to care for once. Ah, ah. If she wants to go back to Kester, it is her decision. Mm. Uh, yes. See, from today henceforth, I want you to maintain a distance away from her until this storm is over. Do you hear me? Okay, oh. no worries, Mama. No problem. I know when I'm not needed. I will leave soon. Hmm? If you're living here, we solve the issues on ground. Alele, hmm. leave. Mama, hmm? me. Hmm. Me. <laughs> Hello? Hi, babe. I'm sorry I haven't called you since I got here. Too many activities. Sure, so... How are you and the kids? They're fine. They all miss me. And I miss them dearly. Hmm. So, um... Sorry. Um, when are you when are you coming home? The day after tomorrow. Okay. Babe, I 
know I'm not supposed to, but can I ask you a question? Sure. Um, are you in, are you in the same room with him? You know, you shouldn't be asking me this. I'm your wife as much as I'm his. Just, just remember that I love you. I know. And I love you too. My son, isn't it too late to be up? I've broken all ties with sleep. How much of the problem will that solve, eh? Would there be light at the end of the tunnel? Why doubt? Because I know Ethel. When she loves, she gives everything. I know my daughter. She will make the right decision. What if she doesn't choose us? Have faith. Hmm? What if faith is not enough? They say some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. What if fate is not enough? What happens? Can 
I share my heart? How many pieces can I share my heart? I'm a prisoner of love. Can I share my heart? Um, my darlings, I know mommy is back and I know you have lots of questions for me. I'll answer them, but mommy isn't well yet, so I need to, I need to leave tomorrow. Tomorrow? That soon? Where to mom? Um, I'm not done with my treatment yet. So I need to go and finish it and then come back fully. Mom, you just returned. At least let us spend some time together so you can explain this to us. Alright girls. Um, patience is a virtue and we must apply that now. Mommy needs to go get completely fixed. And uh, when she's done, we'll take it up from there. Regards the questions, I will, I will answer them. This is not fair. I know, sweetheart. But don't you want mommy to get well? We do. Then try and understand, please. I'm sorry. Alright guys, um, let's eat. Thank you. For 
coming back to me. What wrong did we do to warrant this kind of pain? I may not be in Chloe's shoes right now, but I understand how she feels. She's too nice to go through all this. If you can't just transfer all the pain to me, I am sure I will manage. Please, please, Lord. I know you don't know me. I am Ethel's mother. Oh, good day, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you, my son. How do you do? I'm, I'm doing great. I'm fine. Eh? It's just so unfortunate the circumstances to which we're meeting. But please, yeah, you're welcome, though. Please. Thank you. My son, there is no doubt that you have taken very good care of my daughter. And I am grateful that you saved her life. But son, in a situation like this, I have to do this. No, no, what's that? No. Please, my son. I know I am asking for too much, but please, let Isel go. If you truly love her, please do this for her. Okay, mother, just, just please, please. Thank you. You are my mother. The mother should not be allowed kneeling before her son. Son, you must do something to solve this puzzle. I promise, mother, I will do everything I can to solve this. Thank you. Listen, Cassidy, I know this is very preposterous. But you can do this for the sake of my children. And need I remind you that I'm willing to sweep my troubles underneath my pride for this. Well, we should allow Chloe to... Atel, please. She's Atel. To you, she's it. To me, she's Chloe. So don't impose yours on me. But she is my legitimate. 
let's not go that route. Like I was saying, I think we should allow Chloe choose. How can you, how can she choose between both of you when you are all in front of her? Eh? Which is why I'm proposing we give her two divorce letters. Let her sign who she wants to stay with and who she wants to let go. Knowing all of this, no one has asked you what you want. So I'm asking, what do you want? Who do you want to be with? Stop asking me what I want. Stop asking me to choose. Stop. You know it's difficult for me. You still have to choose in the end, okay? We are tired. We need to know our fate so that we can move on. Is it really that easy? What? Moving on. But it is not. Which is why the earlier the better. I know this is difficult for you, but so it is for everyone here. But what must be done must be done so that we can all move on. Um, <clears throat> here is uh, two divorce papers with our names. We want you to sign one before morning, and whichever one you decide to sign. No one will ask you a question. Just think through it and be sure that the decision is yours and yours alone. Okay?
Where would I run? Where do I hide? My shadows are all around. Can I share my heart? And how many pieces? Can I share my heart? I'm a prisoner of love. Can I share my heart? Share my heart. In how many pieces? Can I share my heart? A prisoner of love. Can I share my heart? A prisoner of love. My daughter, who are you going to stay with now? Kesta, of course. She signed mine. What? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you so much for choosing us. Thank you so much for making me feel so good. Thank you so much. Yes, baby. You've just proven to me that you're that bee that knows the flower with the best nectar. <laughs> Thank you, my daughter. Although I know it's very difficult, but at the same time, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, so go get your properties. Just get everything, your clothes, you maybe just even leave them here. Yeah, the kids can't wait to see you. <laughs> no? Yes, right now, what are we waiting for? Come on, I got my missing ribs back. Yes, I got my missing ribs yeah. back. I got my missing ribs back. Oh. Yes. Should be getting ready. So, you intentionally wanted to divorce me? As, as painful as this is, you need to make the right decision. You need to return to your first family. Your kids, your three kids, they need their mother. And I, I cannot destroy the life of four people because of my selfish gain. 
to both our baby. Our baby will be fine. Our baby will have you. And I have no doubt that she will take care of it. <laughs> this isn't right. <laughs> right. You see, there comes a time in a man's life where the wall between right and wrong crumbles. It's okay, my daughter. It's time for us to go home. Hmm? by the number of breaths we take, but by the moment that takes our breaths away. Thank you for making this my moment. I will forever be grateful. Thank you. I'm most obliged. Thank you for being a man. What shall I do? What shall I say? I'm so, so speechless. Where would I run? Where do I hide? My shadows are all around. Thank you, girls. Brenda, Tessie, Angel. Guess who's here? Mom! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know you feel a bit impervious about me, but you're the one silver lining in my dark clouds. But 
But do I tell the girls? Soon. It will be obvious and they will start asking questions. It's a six of one and half a dozen of the other. It's good for them. It's good for you and good for me. I'm the baby. It will be a page in our story and a great part of our history. Your child will be my child. I love you so much. I know you are bleeding right now. You have done the most sacrifice for I and my family to be together. You and I may have gone our separate ways, but you always be in my heart. I love you. I love you, dear. No! Cassidy, I love you. Ugh. <laughs> 